Day 33, the 1969 Mustang Coupe Restoration Project. Mustang Coupe, making progress. We're putting the shackles on it today. We're fi uh, finally painting the, um, the cross support and we're gonna put that on. Um, we are putting the, 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 uh, the, the uh, risers, I'm gonna call them risers, on the back of the uh, 69 Mustang today. We got a, it looks like we're gonna have to cut them because they're too long from the 71. And Ricky's got it up on all fours, gonna paint the uh, cross member black and making progress on the 69 as well. He is up on all fours. Ricky's gonna raise the back end up a little bit higher, but it gives us access for the cross support. And we're gonna uh, put the um, jack on the, on the pumpkin, AKA differential, and we're gonna get her raised up so we can release the back springs and take the parts that we got off the 71 to raise her about two inches is what Jeff has for us. So that's what we're gonna give him. Getting these this bottom panel off. It looks like he's almost at the last screw. You can see on the door panel when you look at it in this lighting the amount of bodywork that's going to be needed when the car gets painted. Uh, we are going to just primer coat it um, when we do go to paint the Mustang when we get that project. All that bodywork is going to have to be uh, smoothed out before we actually put on uh, final paint. If you appreciate our efforts to educate, please send a donation for the cause via PayPal. Our PayPal email address is paypal at mustangmedic.com. And removing the brackets. Oh, okay. There's another reason. There's another reason to power wash. And here is the 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 um, what is the name of this darn thing? We'll get back to you. Yeah, we'll get back to you. You guys tell us what the, this bottom valance is that holds on the light. The rear, um, the, uh, <laughs> the thing. Thank you, Ray. The thing. Man, I'm having a loss of words today, guys, and I know that's not normal for me. So, now we're going to get these brackets out, and we're going to cut the other brackets over there and get them the right length, and then we're going to take a road trip with Michael to AutoZone. And Michael's over there cranking on the 71. Thank you, Michael! There he is. <laughs> we are trying to make a decision on cutting this shackle. I don't think we should. Why don't you put that on there, Rick? And let's look at how much sticks out from the back. That's the old Mustang shackle, and that's the new one going on. He only wants an inch and a half lift. So that's the first hole is an inch and a half lift. We're going to cut these last two off so they're not visible and gives him the lift that he wants on the tail end. This is a lot of fun, uh, I have to say. Done. Number four. Two wheels later and 45 minutes of this. It's done. The brackets are cut. Be careful of your toes. But look, I'm not wearing any jewelry, guys. I took your advice. No jewelry. Now I just got to get some, uh, some shop boots. <laughs> it's just too darn hot out here in Palm Springs. Painted the brackets black. Soon to install them. Sorry, this is a take two, guys, because my hands are vibrating as I just cut all those brackets and I got the adrenaline going on here. They're trying to give you some video with the iPhone, so forgive me for the shaking, but uh, that's the cross support, grade A bolts all secured. 
So here we are in the evening hours again, finishing up the Mustang with the uh, lifting up the springs. We, as you saw in the previous video, we cut them, painted them. Now they're being installed by Ricky. Ricky, everybody thinks you do all the work. Is it true? No. There you go. That's the thing. Thanks for being honest. So we're uh, locking them down, and then uh, we're going to secure the bracket off in the darkness back on the car. We're going to leave it, Jeff, up on its uh, on its jacks because Monday morning our game. We're going to leave it up on jacks. On Monday morning, our game plan is to bleed those brakes again. They need to be bled. They need to be bled again. And we've gotten some pointers on how to do a better job of it this time, so they should be done. But uh, there's your passenger side raised leaf spring bracket installed. Ricky's going to do the other one now, and uh, we will continue on Monday. Tomorrow, we are going to the show, so hopefully we'll see you at Pomona Fairground. Uh, we're going to be there. Michael's going to be there. Ricky's going to be there. I'm going to be there. So we will see you guys soon. Good night. Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com MustangMedic.com